obviously before you go messing with anything pop off the spark plug boot that's incredibly important okay it's not as huge a deal on commercial mowers where the blades are driven by belts but if you understand how mo uh, homeowner grade mowers work you never work on them unless you take off the spark plug boot I'll give you the short version okay So the way this mo the way this machine works is when you pull the pull cord what you're actually doing is spinning the flywheel. The flywheel has actual magnets on it that come in contact as they spin around uh, what's called a coil. All right? Those magnets sliding across that coil generates an electric charge. That electric charge travels down the spark plug boot into this spark plug. The spark plug then goes into the uh, combustion chamber, I think that's what it's called, and pr pr applies a spark. The same time it's doing that, that spinning motion is also creating a vacuum and compression that's sucking fuel into the combustion chamber, which then causes an explosion, okay? And that is happening, once the mower starts, that happens thousands of times per minute, or second, minute, thousands of times per minute. So when you, <clears throat> but all that is initiated by pulling the uh, pull cord. Now, the reason why we never mess with anything, especially the blade, without popping off the uh, spark plug boot. You see this shaft? This shaft connects to the crank, sh is the crank shaft. This is connected to the flywheel. So when you spin this blade, you're spinning the flywheel that's got the magnets that'll help generate the charge that the coil will then send to the spark plug boot which will send to the spark plug which will cause an ignition in the combustion chamber which has gas in it so when they say spinning the blade could start the mower they're telling you the truth it's very dangerous so don't do it all right